Um, but they have built up this narrative um, much more effectively than Al-Qaeda did or the Taliban did um, about what the, their interpretation of Islam. And we've come from that kind of, you know, um, claustrophobic banning of all media to where we are today in ISIS, which is, is, is innovating, innovating um, Twitter and social media in a way that the governments can't even uh, deal with. I think uh, the recruiters are very responsive to social media. So, for example, if you are tweeting, um, or you as a young person, you suddenly see something, you see a beheading or something on your Facebook and, you're, and you send out a tweet, oh, um, how interesting, or immediately you will get somebody to pick it up and to answer you and to start a conversation with you. Um, we, uh, that is how a lot of these young people in Britain, for example, um, and in Spain have been recruited because uh, um, you've got uh, uh, people of ISIS who are watching the social media all the time, thousands of people. Are, 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 are watching social media and if they see someone who's interested, who's asking questions, who um, um, you know wants to know what the truth of the matter is, is anti-government, you know, uh, they will jump on those people and, and start a conversation with them and, uh, and help them in, in whatever way they can and maybe speak to them in conversation for six months or a year before properly recruiting them. I think their major source of funding has been the sale of oil. They are controlling something like 50 oil wells in Iraq and Syria. Um, they've been selling oil to Turkey uh, and through Turkey they've been selling it to um, other customers in the Gulf. And um, you know, oil today is about $45 a barrel. Even if they are selling at $20 a barrel, uh, for them it's net profit. They, they are extracting the oil themselves. Uh, and they have uh, hired a lot of engineers and um, uh, people connected with the oil industry. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are dealing with that themselves. So uh, they are selling oil cheaply, but uh, they are making huge sums of money. I think the other obvious source is kidnapping. Crime, obviously, um, you know, um, uh, robbing banks and uh, uh, etc. And also the... Um, um, uh, raising taxes and amongst their own people, donations, raising taxes in the territory that they control, etc.